Okay, guys, what's up, Capricorn? Thanks for watching. I just want to take a minute to tell you all thank you so much for all of your views, your likes, your subscriptions. I appreciate it all. Um, coming up on four months, so figured it was time I tell you guys hello. So hey. Alright, Capricorn, this is going to be a reading for your immediate future. Damn it. Um, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. Keep in mind that the energies can be flip-flop, they can be reversed. This could be your energy or the energy of the person that you're dealing with, so flip-flop it how you need to. Can't tell if I'm looking at the camera or at the camera. So, bear with me. I'm a newbie. Alright, guys. Also, remember this is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everybody. But if it does with you today, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Ooh. Could have been an ending, or this could be in reference to a situation that ended. Doesn't have to be something that just ended. With that King of Pentacles there, that's your energy. If you guys would like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. Uh, also, make sure that you check out that join button below for membership opportunities. Um, early access to premiere for the months and year ahead. Also, exclusive member only live chat. Um, chat with me during the premiere as well as other people. Uh, other cats. All right, let's get a Capricorn immediate future. Also, if you guys like the tapestry behind me, you can find that in my store below. Um, my daughter actually made me that when I started this channel, so uh, it has some meaning to it. All right, cat, let's get it. Too many can't take those. Could be done with a Scorpio. Could be moving, traveling, or just trying to move forward. Towards a more peaceful time here. It looks like that may be happening for you. Numbers are breaking down to a four. So from stability. You're trying to, you got the five of wands. So you're trying to move away from this chaos. There was some type of chaos, drama. Could have just been a lot of people around you. You're trying to move. It could have been jealousy to a more peaceful time. You literally could be moving. But it's difficult. You're fighting to move forward past this with the Ten of Wands because it's, it's it's been kind of a burden. The situation has been heavy for you. There's like something has to get right. So the Two of Wands, you're looking at the future and you're moving towards that. You may have an option. You may have, um, you know, kind of more than one person to choose between, whether that's family or love related. You're just trying to move away towards something more peaceful, move towards the future, towards something more calmer. Possibly, you know, towards a connection, um, something serious. It could be a marriage, could be a commitment, or it could just be your cash flow. Show me this death card, please. This is a transformation for you, you're, at least for the situation. And you're moving forward quickly with the Knight of Wands. Could have been dealing with a player here who kind of just ghosted you. You could be kind of just... Um, this person could have kind of been breadcrumbing you, kind of just in and out, fast energy. With the four of wands here as well, somebody could be um, kind of ghosting some type of... Mm, that's not the outcome, though. Shit. For some of you, somebody is could be leaving something behind here that comes towards you. The Five of Pentacles. Um, you know, this person definitely probably did the least. The least that they had to to keep you there. They could have just felt like, you know, it could have felt like they just straight up abandoned you here. It seemed, I can't tell if they're trying. Yeah. You stood up for this. You stood up for yourself with the Nine of Pentacles. You focused on self-love here. Even if this was money related, um, you could have felt kind of like um, broke. Um, but it's looking like that's being regained with the Nine of Pentacles. That's all about focusing on yourself, your money, your self-love here. So 
I've just been kind of trying to move away from this chaotic situation in your life and move forward towards something that was more stable, more grounded, more happier here. Because it's looking like whatever this was, can't these two cards keep wanting to flop over. And I wasn't taking them because I wasn't clarifying anything. But if this was a player who ghosted you, King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but you had emotions for this person. It doesn't have to be a water sign. But this person is feeling regret here. They're feeling disappointment. It's like they want to come back in, but you've been focusing on yourself here. This is like feeling some type of letdown, some type of remorse here. I think this person kind of left you behind. And you've really been focusing on yourself. And it looks like you've done a good job building up, you know, your, your foundations, your money, your stability on your own. Show me this Nine of Cups, please. Or Capricorn. All right. So let's see where this is going. Because it looks like this person is feeling uh, pretty powerful now. They're coming back around. Well, let's see. We have the judgment here. So that could kind of be like a reconciliation. Someone, you know, from the past kind of popping back up to work on issues here. And we have the Nine of Cups. So we could leave it at that and say, you know, um, this, this makes you happy. Or you could have moved forward down another path as well. Um, and that's making you happy. Yeah, the Four of Cups. I feel like you're not interested here. That's like an offer getting rejected. You could work with this person. I think this person thinks that you're going to reject their offer as well. You could be more focused on your work. But you have the Nine and the Ten of Cups here for the outcome. So you have wish fulfillment, possibly a reconciliation, trying to work on this. Or you're just more focused on your work here. I definitely feel like there's a decision that some of you are going to have to make. Because we have two decision cards. So it's like you're working. You're putting in the work here. Whether that's work related or with a totally different person. Because with this two of wands, like I said, you could have had a choice in past here. Um, it's, it's, there's a decision here. It's like one offer possibly, you know, you're rejected. You're not even interested in it. And you're putting in work towards your emotional fulfillment here. Towards balancing things out. Could be a Libra involved, but you're coming off on top. There's, there could be something, you know, like I said, someone else that you're moving forward here with that makes you happy. Even if it's not with, um, two people, you're making the decision that, like, the scales have to be balanced. You're focusing on yourself. So, to recap, some of you guys could have two people. So you could be moving forward with one and kind of leaving another one out in the cold here. For others of you, if there's just one person, um, I can't say that you're, you're, you're accepting their offer. I feel like you're happy with whatever it is that you're working on, whether that is work related. Um, this is your energy here. Yeah, you don't trust this person. So you could be feeling good continuing to work on yourself, your money, or, or another situation that you're working on here. All right. So for some of you, there could be two kings here and one you're just not interested in. You're moving down the other path. You're working on something else. Um, for others of you, this person just doesn't know how to approach you and you're going to have to make a decision here. But whatever you are working on makes you happy with the nine and the ten of cups. You know, it's a general reading. So some of you could have two people to choose from. Some of you may just be focusing on your self-worth and putting work and time and energy into your career right now.
It doesn't have to be two people. And even if the situation is, is flipped, somebody could really be focused on their money right now. And kind of that's where their drive is. So even if you've been feeling lacking in the uh, money department, keep working because it's coming back around. You have your wish fulfillment, your emotional fulfillment here. It's almost like it's decision time. We have a lot of like balanced decision cards, like the scales need to be balanced here. For some of you, you're ending it with this player or this person who goes to you. And it's kind of like a, a, I hate to say a karmic ending, but we have the Ten of Swords and the Justice. <clears throat> All right, Capricorn, I hope this helps. Hope this resonated for you. If so, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Again, I think, yeah, this is good. If this is a car, like an ending that you just kind of ghost this person, you cut them out, this is going to really catch them off guard with the tower there. Because you damn sure may have a new opportunity and you're just cutting this one out. This is just the immediate future, though, so, you know, that could be a couple of days away, but, yeah, it could be dealing with the Taurus as well. This person will be coming back to apologize, so I'm not sure that you're um, accepting it. All right, guys, thank you so, so much. Stay safe. Talk to you guys soon.